the relationships you keep can be highly devastating. Who you yoke yourself with can be devastating, can be destructive, can be deceiving, and can be manipulating. It, it, it doesn't matter. Listen to this. You, you can go far in life based on the people you allowed in your circle. How far you can go, it's not about how educated you are or how many people you have in your circle. One little living can live in the entire lump. Once you have a corrupt person who is under satanic manipulation, he can destroy everything you're building. Now, let me tell you one of the ways to overcome Satan. Kick the devils out. Amen. You don't keep a demon in your room. You don't negotiate with the demon. You cast the demon out. Demons are ruthless. You don't understand. Demons are what? They are ruthless. They are subtle, very subtle, very crooked, very manipulating. They can sometimes appear sympathetic. They can sometimes appear empathetic. empathetic and they can sometimes appear caring. But behind this false um, in, uh, you know, uh, 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 appearances, these false imitations of right virtues is a serpent, is a viper waiting to stink, to bite. And that's why our visuals, the sight of the spirit, the actual eyes of the spirit to see beyond these false resemblances, these false appearances that looked very good, amazing, sympathetic is the gift of discernment. If you don't have discernment in these last days, you are of all men most miserable. You won't be able to discern when a smile is actually gone short waiting to be triggered. When certain beautiful corporate gestures and, 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 uh, and, and some gifts are actually set up for your destruction. You must understand that we live in a world that is controlled by demonic influences. And anybody can come under demonic control. When you perceive that a demon has jumped into a person, go into your uh, room, take up the picture of that person, start praying. Rebuke the spirit in the name of Jesus. Call the person by name and say, you foul spirit, come out. Deal with that in the spirit. By the time you do it twice, three times, this person continues to be that way. Just know that that person has become the demon himself. So what you're going to do next is to cast that person out. You didn't get it. You see, that's the problem. <laughs> you must know that. When... A <laughs> When a demon refuses to leave an individual, it means that individual has become the demon himself. So you, what are you going to do? You cast both the demon out. How do you cast it out? Discontinue the relationship. This, listen. Discontinue the friendship. Discontinue the cord between both of you. Cut the cord off.